All right, Shalom. We're the brothers of Great Millstone and Branch out of Des Moines. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechach, Wadash. Love and honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel of truth and sincerity, always in charity. And um, today's lesson is inspired through the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, pretty much through uh, the elder brother uh, Zaha out of the church in Mississippi. You know, um, the title of his video was uh, Put This Truth First. And he was going into, um, you know, the things that the Lord gives us, whether it be a woman, whether it be a nice job, whether it be a nice call, whether it be extra cash on our pocket, man. And everything is always governed through what? Through wisdom, man. You know, and then he was going into that's what makes a king a king. Right. And he went to this movie and he explained that this one guy, hard working man, you know, he wasn't used to having an abundance of money. So when he moved in with his wife's father, his wife's father was a billionaire. And uh, 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 he got access to all this uh, all this money, and he pretty much uh, um, became, a, became a drug addict, man. You know, why? Because he had everything at his abundance. But see, the thing is with us, man, we're, uh, we're, we're learning how to control ourselves when we have different things, man. We learn how to, um, how to abase and abound, like Paul said, you know. So uh, let's start with, uh, can a brother get 2 Samuel 23? Second Samuel 23, and uh, I think it's verse 3, if I'm not mistaken. This is uh, okay, the Rock of Israel? Yep. Uh, this is <clears throat> Salaki. This is Second Samuel. Matter of fact, you can start at 1, brother. This is Second Samuel chapter 23 and verse 1. Now, these be the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, said, And the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of Yahweh of Jacob, the, and the Salakia, and the sweetest psalmist of Israel. Right. So this is the last words of King David before he gave up the spirit, before he died, right? Go ahead. Said, the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. So this is our king, right? Now it says that uh, 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 he uh, he was a man after the most high's heart. So the things he about to say is what is profitable for us, man. Mm -hmm. So we can apply these things that he's about to tell us, right? Go ahead. It says, uh, because he said the spirit of Yahweh spake by me and his word was in my tongue. So the words he's about to say is what? Is inspired by Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, right? Go ahead, bro. It says, and his word was in my tongue. The power of Israel said, the rock of Israel spake to me. So this is the most high telling him that, right? Go ahead. He that ruleth over men must be just, uh -huh. ruling in the fear of Yahweh. That's a key thing right there. You see? It says, he that ruleth over men must be just. Now, when you're a king, when you're a ruler, guess what comes with that, man? It comes with abundance of riches and wisdom and substance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So King David, and he, he's letting you know, like, look, you must be just in order to control these things, in order to have these things, man. And it goes and it, it, go, it goes into what the, uh, uh, the elder bro was saying within his lesson, right? Go ahead. And he shall be as the light of the morning when the sun rises, even a morning without clouds. As a tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after the rain. Right. So it's what a bright day, man. You know that's 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 what a a, a, a man ruling in the fear of the Lord is going to be unto people, man. Meaning what that light that shines, man, a clear day, right? So you know how to walk, you know how to move, you know how to maneuver, right? So from there, can we uh, let's grab a uh, lock here. Matter of fact, Proverbs eight, Proverbs the eighth chapter, and you want to grab wisdom of Solomon six. And we can start at 15 on that. Get Proverbs, the eighth chapter, and nah, you're gonna start at uh verse 12. Come. This is a book of <clears throat> is a book of Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 12. It says, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Mm -hmm. The fear of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. And the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Keep going. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Right. This is talking about wisdom. This wisdom speaking, right? Go ahead. By me, kings reign. See? By me, kings reign. Right? So in order to have the abundance of different things, man, uh, 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 dealing with women, right? Uh, having the abundance of money or having nice calls, or all these different things, man, it goes, it, it all goes back to what? Being exercised in this wisdom. And the brother was, uh, the elder brother, you know, he was going in and he was explaining how wisdom can corrupt uh, guys as well, man. Because these guys are not uh, 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 temperate or balanced within this knowledge, man. 
That's why we started with Second uh, Samuel 23 when King David said, what? He that ruleth over men must be just, right? Meaning must be upright, must be ruling in the fear of the Lord, man. The fear of the Lord is, 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 is a, you know, all these things come from Yahweh Basham and Yahweh Shai, and he can take it from you just like that, man. So that woman you got, man, hey, the Lord can take it from you just like that. The car you got, the, the, the job you have, the money you have, man, whatever you have, it comes from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and that's true acknowledgement, man. So it ain't no pride in this thing. It's not being puffed up. You got guys, uh, like he was explaining, man, you got guys that get this wisdom and then they use the wisdom to manipulate brothers. They use the wisdom to uh, to uh, rule over brothers, man. Well, no, according to the word, right? It speaks about uh, uh, how um, the greatest among you shall be the servant of all. I'm roughly paraphrasing, man. It says the greater thou art, the more humble thou shalt be. So the more wisdom we get, it, 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 it should humble us. Knowing that what? Because hey, hey, the more I learn, I understand and realize the more I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's humbling within itself, man. It says, uh, as a man ought to know. Okay. Yeah, we know what we ought to know. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Uh, Galatians 6, Galatians 6 and like 3 or verse 4, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Hey, now it's puffed up, but charity edifies, man. Come on. But you got to this real quick, uh, just based on what you said. This is Job chapter 1 and verse 21, right? Because it's a saying in the world. It says, and said, naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, Salakia, the, the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai gave, and Yahweh Basham Yahushai had taken away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh. You know, and that's the point, man, that the Lord can give us certain things, and just like that, the Lord can take them away. Hey, Job, Job himself said, hey, have we, have we not received good uh, of the Most High, and shall we not receive evil? You know, so there's a balance within everything. There's temp that, that, that's a big uh, key within this ministry is balance and temperance, you know? Hey, just like when um the Lord took that gourd from uh from Jonah, man, you know, uh what did he say? He was like, um, he's like he basically you said, look, man, you had nothing to do with this gourd being here, man. You know what I'm saying? Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, he was all salty about it, you know. Hey, but at the end of the day, like like the brother brought out, man, the Lord give it and he take it away, man. But it's at the end of the day, we gotta have that mindset. Blessed be the name of Yahweh Come on. Back in Proverbs chapter eight and verse sixteen. It says, by me, princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Mm -hmm. It says, by me, princes rule, right? So we're going back to what King David said, man. He said that uh, he that ruleth must uh, be just, ruling in the fear of the Lord, meaning we must obtain this wisdom, man. You know, but go ahead. It says, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Mm -hmm. Riches and honor are with me, yea, Durable riches and righteousness. Durable riches and righteousness. So everything comes what with wisdom, man. You know. Now I'm, I was holding this. This is the book of uh, Proverbs, sixteen and twelve. It says, "It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness, man." And that goes back to what King David said, man. That he that rules must be just. So we must have this wisdom in order to be able to. Uh, uh, um, know how to handle and maneuver these different things that the Lord equips us with, man. You know, it says, let's see what the next verse say. Verse 13, it says, righteous lips are the delight of kings and they love him that speaketh right. You know, and the ultimate king is what? Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. So as long as we're speaking these right things, as long as we're doing what's required of us, man, hey, hey, that's what's going to uh, guide us to the kingdom. Like it says, you can jump to that wisdom of Solomon, bro. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 15. To think therefore upon her is perfect wisdom, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. Mm -hmm. For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, sheweth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeting them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. That's the key thing right there. That goes back to being temperate, self-control. That's that discipline, man. And the care of discipline is love, mm -hmm. and love is the keeping of her laws, mm -hmm. and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. You mm -hmm. want? And incorruption maketh us un near unto Yahweh. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Right? Go ahead. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that you may reign forever. That's it, man. So it says, honor wisdom that we may reign forever. There's a scripture in Ecclesiastes, and it speaks about uh, uh, 
uh, it's talking about, you know, uh, rulership, right? Let's see if I can find it. Because I know it says, um, woe unto you. It's right here. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 16. It says, woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child and thy princes eat in the morning. Meaning, meaning they, they uh, 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 look, at, look, look at Esau's rulership, man. Esau, Esau is pretty much a child. Look how he's ruling. Look how he's conducting himself, man. You know, he's pretty much a servant. A child is going back to something like uh, not equipped. Right. This dude is pretty much a servant that's ruling. It, it speaks about a, it's a scripture where it says um, it's not it's not it's not meat for servants to have rule over princes. man. But look how Esau uh, running his kingdom. Right. His princes, it says eat in the morning. Basically, it means how they eat all the substance to themselves. It speaks about uh, is this the same one? No, it's not. But uh, it speaks about uh, how uh, he that is born in his kingdom becometh poor. Well, look, look at Esau's kingdom, man. Everything is set up so that what? So that the uh, uh, the top class, they're the ones that's continually eating while the poor is becoming poor, man. Well, that's the example of this scripture. That's exactly uh, uh, what's happening when your king, when your ruler is a child, man. It speaks about uh, uh, children are our oppressors, right? It speaks about they that are younger than I. This is talking about Esau, man. He's beneath us. This dude's a servant. He's not built to rule, man. Right? But it says, verse 17, blessed art thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles. Right? It says, thy king is the son of nobles, and thy princes eat in due season for strength and not for drunkenness, man. So meaning what? Meaning, uh, they, uh, 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 it's enough for the ruler to sustain themselves and give the rest unto the uh, uh, unto the people, man. And that's what's going to happen within our rulership. That's why it says when the righteous are in authority, the people are going to rejoice, man. So all of this is going to be done in, in, in righteousness. That's why going back to the start in scripture, King David said, he that ruleth over men must be just, must be upright, ruling in the fear of the Lord, man. It all goes, what, 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 we're, being, what we're being taught, what we're going through, it's all teaching us how to rule properly, man, how to rule ourselves and ultimately how to rule this universe, you know? So the Lord is testing us now with these different things. He said, he said, uh, uh, you've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you ruler over many things, man. So the Lord is, is, is seeing if we can handle ourselves with this knowledge now, with the little things we have in our walk, man. Right. Certain brothers might have more because those certain brothers might be able to uh, 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 handle those things more. Certain brothers have less because that's the Lord keeping you away from the things that's going to destroy you, man. And that's a part of wisdom of knowing, look, being content with what Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai gives us. And the scriptures even said it. It says, if riches increase, set not thy heart upon them, man. So when you have the abundance, guess what, man? You, you were given the abundance in order for you to what? Eat what you have in due season and then give the rest out to the brothers that need it, man. So this is ultimately what we're learning through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know? Go ahead. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding, how, how be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be ye men. Uh, be, but in understanding be men. Okay? So, hey, man, we have to conduct that stuff, you know, in, in temperance and in in being moderate with things, you know what I'm saying? You know, knowing what's you know, what's good for your soul and what's not, man. You know what I mean? You know? Everything in measure, man. You know? And, and knowing that any anything that you get is from your Abba Shem man. You know? Uh, it's a scripture in, um... Yep, this is uh, Sirach 22. And uh, I'm gonna start at 9. It says, if children live honestly and have wherewithal, they shall cover the baseness of their parents, right? So it speaks about uh, the children living honestly. For an example, man, in the law, it speaks about thou shalt honor thy mother and father. And then uh, uh, the wicked Pharisees tried to twist that, right? And that's why Yahweh Shah had to curse them out. Now, when you go into where uh, the account where Yahweh Shah was cursing them out, where the, the wicked Pharisees, they were pretty much telling people like, look, uh, you can say that your substance is dedicated to the Lord so that you ain't got to give nothing unto your parents, man. And uh, uh, the word they use is korban in the Greek, which means a gift. 
So, so, so back then they used to say, look, well, I got this money that's dedicated to the temple. So therefore I can't give it to my parents in order to help them out. Well, we ought not to do that, man. It says what? If children live honestly and have wherewithal, right? The Lord has given us a certain abundance of things. They shall cover the baseness of their parents. Meaning you're going to look out for your parents, man. You're going you, you're gonna to take care of your parents, man. Verse 10, but children being haughty through disdain, you see, and wants, that word want is old English for lack. So I'm going to read that again. It says, but children being haughty through disdain and lack of nurture do stain the nobility of their kindred, man. And that's two thirds of all people, man. They're degenerates and we ought not to be like them. The word degenerate goes back into a uh, uh, lack in the ancestral qualities of your ancestors, man. Because D means of a pretty much a downgrade and generate you. You're downgraded from your generations, man. So it's going back to uh, the Ecclesiastes when it said blessed when thy king is of nobles, man. And we're, we're of the sea line of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. So how should we conduct ourselves? Right. Speaking about uh, uh, what we hope, the elect hopeful, the elect hopeful is what? The tabernacles of David, man. It's going to be the uh, uh, the next ruling body in the kingdom of heaven. Where well, it goes back to the mindset of our king. And he said, he that ruleth over men must be just, man. So it all goes back to what, man? A, 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 a knowing the nobility that we come from, right? Moving and walking in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh according to these words, right? Yeah, I was just going to say... Uh... And, and a lot of it comes by uh, trial and error, man. <clears throat> you know, applying the scriptures because the Lord will put you in certain situations uh, to, to, to see your reasoning, man. You know, you might read uh, or do a lesson on a certain topic and you'll get put in that same position to see whether you're going to do do those things. You know, and uh, uh, like you quoted earlier, I'm, I'm going to grab it. This is Sirach, uh chapter 30, 37 and verse. Select. Uh, 37 and verse 27. It says, my son, prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. So like the brother was saying, hey, hey there's certain brothers that, that, that might have uh, a certain other things, you know, like, like even, uh, 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 even the fact that having multiple women, man, you know, it, it, it says that all the, uh, uh what the, that, that they're lawful, but not expedient. You got to prove what's expedient to you, man. You know, because you might be able to do something, but it can hinder you from being in the spirit or it can hinder you from being able to help another brother or being able to read or so on and so forth. It's not profitable. That word expedient goes back to profit. Mm -hmm. So something might be lawful, but it's not profitable for you. Uh, it might be in that season. Spirit. See, and that's that's wisdom. Certain things is seasonal, man. Mm -hmm. You know, some something might be permanent. Like, look, nigga, you just ain't good with that, bro. Right. <laughs> You know, or it could be seasonal. Like, look, look, hey, maybe that's not the time for you to engage in that, man. And that's all through wisdom. Right. And that's all through continually examining ourselves and going back to what the brother is reading, proving what's good for us. Having rule, having discipline over ourselves, because two thirds of all people, they ain't got that, man. That's why it says in the, the Sirach I just read, it says through lack of nurture. How are we nurtured? We're nurtured through what? Through this word, man. It says she shall meet thee as a uh, as a mother and feed thee with understanding. Well, this is this this is how we're nurtured, man. You know, it says uh, wine and women cause men of understanding to uh, to fall away, man. That's access, man. Or it says it says that wine drunken and access, man. You got to know your balance. You got to know what's good for you, man. Like the brother said, it is trial and error. Well, it's going to say just men uh, fall seven times, man. All right. Well, it just said it says prove yeah. what is good. That word prove means test. test. You know, this is a uh, verse 28. It says, for all things are not profitable for all men. Neither have expedient. <laughs> That's what expedient means. All things are not expedient unto all men. You know, neither have every soul pleasure in everything. Be not unsatiable in dainty things, mm -hmm. nor too greedy upon meats. And I'm going uh, to grab uh, uh, You're going to grab what it means, boy. The word insatiable, going back to the NMI, it says incapable of being satisfied or appeased. That's it. You know, it says, uh, it says what? Uh, uh, riches are not comely for a nigger. You know, hey, 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 amen. Because the, the scriptures talk, talk to it. That's the spirit. The, the scriptures talk to us about being, a, 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 it says content with godliness. You know, God, amen. Godliness with, uh, great, uh, godliness with contentment is great game. Come and, and that's the point, man, that the Lord gives us uh, enough. You know, he gives us yeah. enough, just what we need, man. We don't need, we don't need uh, nothing more, really. 
You know? Right, because hey. they think it's about you. And we, and we got clothes on our back. We got food in our mouths, man. Uh, 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 we get to be around brothers, so on and so forth, man. And uh, uh, we, we, we got to have that contentment, man. We got to have that contentment. Be gra- be grateful, you know. It, sa- it says, uh, through all things with prayer and thanksgiving, man. You know, we got to remember to give thanks to Yahweh Shem Yahweh for the benefits that he shows us daily, man. It says, um, uh, verse 29 again. It says, be not insatiable in dainty things nor too greedy upon meats. For excess of meats bring a sickness and surfeiting will turn into cold. You know? That yeah, was it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Too much uh, too much anything can kill you, man. Too much of water. Cold yeah. is, is a sickness. Yep. You yep. know? Anything, yeah, too much anything, you know, yeah. it, it's harmful. You know? I got one. Uh, this is Proverbs 31 and 1. The words of King Lemuel, uh, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroy of kings. So, hey, man, any, like, you know, like the, like the brothers is going into it, anything can destroy you in access, man. You know what I'm saying? And we got to counsel that, you know, in the scriptures. You know, our forefathers, man. You know, we read about how, how certain men fell for women, uh, you know, so on and so forth, man. You know, yeah. so, so, so that's a, 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 a blueprint, you know. Hey, if, if I see this man, a, 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 a you know, I see him fall off a cliff. I'm not going to walk the same way, man. I'm going to go a different way, you know, or, or like like uh, the example brothers like bringing out with the whole uh, the minefield, you know. If this man's going and, you know, I'm not going to follow that same path, you know. It is not for kings, and what are we going into? The mindset of a king, right? It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Right. So is it saying that uh, a king can't drink? You know what I'm saying? No, it's not saying that, man. Because the very next verse says, give strong drink unto him ready to perish. It's teaching balance. Yeah. It's teaching temperance. You know? That's what I say is, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any afflicted. Now, the precept to that is in the book of Sirach, where it says wine and in, 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 uh, 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 in temperance is, is, is joy. Let me, let me, let me just grab it. Uh, this is the book of Sirach. Salaki. I'm, uh, I'm not sure of the chapter, but I know what side of my book it's on. This is um, Sirach. And the brother can search it up quicker than I find it. How's it go, one? Oh, I got it. This is Sirach 31. And matter of fact, I'm going to start at 26. Man. I'm going to start at 22. It says, my son, hear me and despise me not. And at the last thou shalt find as I told thee and all thy works be quick. So there, so shall there no sickness come unto thee. Whoso is liberal of his meat, men shall speak well of him. And the report of his good housekeeping will be believed. That goes back into what? When your king is of nobles, man. And they eat in due season because you're liberal with your meat, meaning you eat enough for you. And then what? Liberal is freely given, man. Right. It says verse 24. But against him that is a niggard of his meat, the whole city shall murmur and the testimonies of his niggardness shall not be doubted of, man. Just like Esau. Everybody knows uh, uh, Esau is a goddamn nigger, man. And he's covetous. Right. But it says verse 25. Show not thy valiant valiantness in wine for wine have destroyed many. The furnace proveth the edge by dipping, so doeth wine the hearts of the proud by drunkenness, man. So, so, so basically, uh, excess of wine, man, hey, 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 that's a test, man, to see how you, hey, do you still remember the law? Like, why? Well, that's why it goes back to Proverbs, the 31st chapter, you know? Because a lot of times, Jake get drunk and they forget certain things, man, talk to brothers certain ways, you know? Me personally, I had to learn that, man. Back when I first came in, they, me and this brother right here, you want him? We, we, we would get get get, get a, a sip on some yarn together, man. And all of a sudden, man, words get to going back and forth, man. You know, it came to a point where uh, a, a certain brother recorded the thing, uh, recorded the uh, uh, the discourse, right? And then the next morning, man, yeah, he played it back. The things I was saying to this man, I was fucking disgusted with myself, man. 
And I and and, 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 and from that day forward, man, I I'm like, man, I can never allow myself to get to that point again to where I'm I'm disrespecting a, a man of the Lord, man. To where I'm talking crazy to one of the Lord's little ones, man. Where it said, what? If you offend one of these little ones, it's, it's better that a millstone be tied around your neck, man. So right there made me, oh, why? Well, I, I can't be moving like that. I can't be doing that, man. Right? But it says, the furnace proveth the edge by dipping, so doeth wine the hearts of the proud by drunkenness. Wine is as good as life to a man if it be drunk moderately. And that's what? That's that temperance, man. That's that discipline. And that's what we learn through the, uh, through the scriptures, right? What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. Wine measurably drunk and in season bringeth gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. But wine drunken with excess maketh bitterness of the mind with brawling and quarreling. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool till he offend. And, then it would, and that, that's what happened, man. That's why it says it's not for kings to drink the, uh, what in excess, lest they forget the law, man. So this all going back into temperance and balance and how to conduct ourselves as, 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 as what? As godly, kingly men. And we're learning this through these words, man, through these scriptures. That's why it's a key thing of applying these things. The word apply means to use. We have to use these precepts in our everyday life. It says, verse 30, drunkenness increases the rage of a fool to he offend. It diminishes strength and maketh wounds, right? Now, it's talking about wine, but wine is a, uh, 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 it says it's made uh, to make men merry. So wine could be a uh, symbolic for your joyfulness state, man. You know, so you don't want to be too uh, 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 abundant in merriment, man. Whatever, whatever, whatever vice you might have, you know. You want to make sure that that everything is done in, in in moderation, you know. Time and season, you know, there's time and season for everything, and like go, going back to it, man, it's having that that kingly mindset, you know, because these people out in the world, they 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 don't meditate on that, they don't think about balance, you know, they don't think, oh, let, let me let me not, you know, drink too much because I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna offend and this, and you know, hey, hey, these people are all caught up in their lust and their flesh, man. This is Romans chapter twelve and verse one. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And part of that goes into cutting certain things off, man. Bettering ourselves, you know. Hey, man, the, uh, there's a time. Hey, it says uh, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith, man. Hey, hey that, that, that's heavy. We really ought to be examining ourselves all the time. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, you know. Hey, hey, hey constantly thinking about hey, hey, what, hey, what vibration am I moving? Well, what am I putting out there? You know, brothers around me, what, what, what are they seeing when they see me? When I'm alone, what am I doing? You know, so on and so forth. Am I being in the spirit as much as I should be? Or am I or am I more in the flesh? Am I caught up in my bullshit or am I serving the Lord? You know, it's, yeah, I, I just read the second one. It says, uh, and be not conformed to this world, right? Being not uh, 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 with the form, with the fashions of this place, man. Just like all these people being not caught up in our flesh, being not selfish, Thinking about the brothers, man. Thinking about the Lord. Thinking about how we can become better servants, better brothers, better fathers, so on and so forth. It says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that which is selected, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, to not think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as the most high have dealt to every man the measure of faith you know we got to think soberly man you know not being caught up uh, with, with, with all, all the shit that goes on around us man you know keeping our eyes single staying locked in staying in tune man remembering the a hey, 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 you, you know a hey, hey, when you find out your royalty a hey, you carry yourself a certain way but how much more when, when when we understand that the lord put his name on us you know, because you know, when you have a sober mind, man, you can't be tossed to and fro with, you know, with, with, with anything, man. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it, it'll keep you from perverting judgment. Um, I want to touch on a point that we made a little bit earlier because, you know, the brother was going into uh, how this wisdom, you know, it's like riches and it can puff up too, man. You know, because that that uh, this wisdom is, is, is riches, man. You know, and 
you know, you got to ask yourself too, man, when you're, when you're digesting this <laughs> word, when you're taking in this word, you know, you got to really test yourself. You know, you got to really ask yourself, like, if you want to, like, if we go into a deep breakdown or something, you got to ask yourself, why do I want to know this? Because you got some men that want to just, that, that, that learn this just to, you know, just sound like they somebody, you know what I'm saying? Just to, uh, to, to, to big themselves up, man. But that's not why we're, that's not why we're learning this. We're learning this to, uh, to distribute it, uh, uh, freely, man. You know, not to look on down on somebody who doesn't, have that knowledge, right. man. And you have men that do that, you know. Says I study not for myself only, but for all those that seek learning, man. Yep. It's all for edification, you know. This is uh Ezekiel 34 and 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Okay. So you got men, and 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 they will gorge themselves on this truth. They'll gorge themselves in this word, man. But it, but but then they'll neglect the the flock, man. Hey, man, it was a, uh, it was a guy. Oh, uh, wasn't that Yeridon? <laughs> now he was an example of that. Man. Oh, like yeah, he was an example of that. You know, the man had the man had had a lot of knowledge, had a lot of breakdown, but he was too proud to sit down with his men and have a class. He was too cool for that. You know what I'm saying? You know, sit down and break bread and, and clarify things for, for, for men. It was all about what he knew. For why? To make himself look like somebody. Ye eat the fat and clothe ye with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye fed not the flock. The diseased have you not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick. Neither have you bound up that which was broken. Neither have you brought again that which was driven away. Neither have you sought that which was which was lost, but but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them, right? And there's men that did that, man. <laughs> you know, Nick. They, they weren't ruling in the fear yeah. of the Lord, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, 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 you know, and guys like that, man, we've seen a lot of guys like that. They had all the precepts, all the breakdowns, but when it came to applying uh, mercy, it, was, it wasn't there. The mercy wasn't there, okay? The, uh, what scripture says you have omitted the way to your matters? They omitted the way to your matters, man. You know, all right. And they were, and they were scattered because there is no shepherd, mm-hmm. and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Okay. Uh, uh, it's and the scriptures talk about uh, uh, being, um, you know, basically watching to watching to your flock. You know, yeah. and, and, and hey, man, we're, we're, we're all a body. You know, yeah. and and hey, if the scriptures say that we are to have the same mind of Yahweh Shai, hey, the, the scriptures say that Yahweh Shai left the ninety nine to find the, the to get the one sheep. You know, yeah. hey man, let, let, laying everything down, hey, hey, the same thing with us, man. Yeah. You know, putting putting our, our stuff to the side, our ego, hey, whatever we got going on, and making sure that the body's straight, making sure that the church is good, man, making making sure that we're serving the Lord, man, that we're doing everything that we can that's possible uh, to be in good grace and mercy and to help. Edify brothers to help build them up, man. To help grow, man. Because uh, the point is for all of us to get up out of here, man. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to be built up to the point where, hey, man, let, let's get out of here, man. We all got the same goal. I'm gonna jump back up to three because it says, uh, "This is Ezekiel 34 and three. I'm gonna jump back up to three. Ye eat the fat, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 right? You you take in the money. You know what I'm saying? And we seen a lot of guys that did that. And ye clothe ye with the wool." Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. Okay? All right? So these men uh, are feeding on the flock instead of feeding the flock. And there are examples of not uh, uh, of not having discipline within themselves. They didn't have that kingly mentality of how to move and conduct. So they for, therefore, those cats are, are examples of how not to be. You know? Mm-hmm. But going back, this is Ecclesiastes, the second chapter. And I'm going to start at one. It says, I said in my heart, go to now, I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasure. And behold, this also is vanity, man. So so this is King Solomon who had everything. And he's letting us know that, look, these things is nothing. These things is, 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 yeah, nothing. That's what vanity means, right? Verse two, I said of laughter, it is mad. And of mirth, what doeth it? I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine, right? Yet acquainting my heart with wisdom. 
So that meaning what? He, he still did it in wisdom, right? And to lay hold on folly till I might see what was that what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heaven all the days of their life. So here it is, King Solomon. He had it all, man. And he went and searched all these things out, right? Through experience, right? And this is and this is what he's writing unto us, right? Verse four, I made me great works. I built me houses. I planted me vineyards. I made me gardens and orchards. And I planted trees in them of all kinds of fruits. I made me pools of water to water therewith the wood that bringeth forth trees. I got me servants and maidens, and I had servants born in my house. Also, I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces. I got me men singers and women singers and the delights of the sons of men as musical instruments and that of all sorts. So I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me. And that's the key thing. He gained all that, man. But yet the fear of the Lord was still with him. Right. Let's keep reading. This is verse uh, 10. And whatsoever my eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor. And this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit. And there was no profit under the sun. So this is he. This is the conclusion he's coming uh, 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 coming to through what? Through experience. He had all this in the abundance, man. Right. But let's keep reading. This is uh, verse 12. And I turn myself to behold wisdom and madness and and folly for what can the man do that cometh after the king even that which hath been already done then i saw that wisdom excelleth folly as far as light excelleth darkness man so so w w without this wisdom man hey, 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 none of that none of that matters man he had all that he had the abundance of riches he had all that man right but he said that wisdom excelleth all of that and and, and and could we get wisdom of Solomon seven and seven? Because it's going to go into the kingly mindset of us. What 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 having discipline? It says uh, the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, yeah. right? So this yeah. is King Solomon giving us what his his his, uh, uh, his personal experience, right? This verse fourteen: the wise man's eyes are in his head, meaning we thinking about everything, right? Huh? That's that's the key thing of wisdom. It said, "What she shall meet thee in every thought." That's what we read in the sixth chapter, right? Who can I ask you, uh, real quick? It says it's the glory of the king to search out uh, to search out a thing, man. You know, so like the brother is saying, man. You know, we're constantly uh, searching out things, man, through the spirit. You know, and, and search out yourself, man. Yep. That's the key. That's the key thing right there, right? Knowing yourself because yourself is your biggest enemy, mm -hmm. because that's what we're focusing on, man. Kingly mentality, man. So each and every last one of us have to look in the mirror and be like, look, am I am, am, am I uh, 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 giving it the best I can? Am I moving to the best uh, uh, or am I moving to the best of my ability through the Holy Spirit? Right. Am I being abundant in this? And am I being abundant in that? Am I lacking in this? And that? that's continually searching yourself. That's continually examining yourself. Right. And through the, and through that, through that discipline, right, through your studying, through the Holy Spirit and praying and fasting. Right. That's when you come to a, a balance within yourself to know I can give myself this. I can give myself that, man. So none of these things have power over you. And this is what King Solomon is going into. And his youth had power over him. He said he gave his heart to wine, yet acquaint himself with wisdom. Meaning what? He didn't give himself over unto that, man. A lot of cats get the abundance of riches and in, in, in what? Like the brother uh, uh, explained in uh, his lesson. The movie he watched, man, this cat got the, he got access to all this and then he became a drug addict. He didn't have no discipline, you know, but wisdom teaches us that. So whatever situation we find ourselves in, we know how to conduct ourselves through what? Through these words, man. This is verse um 14 again. It says the wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happened to them all. Then said I in my heart, 
as it happened to the fool, so it happened even to me. And why was I then more wise than I said in my heart that this is also vanity? Uh, well, yeah, well, I keep reading. No, I keep reading. Verse 16. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than the fool forever. Seeing that which is uh, now is in the days to come shall be forgotten. And how dieth the wise man as the fool? Therefore, I hated life. This is a man that had the abundance of things, right? He said, therefore, I hated life. Because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me, for all is vanity and vexation of spirit. And that's what this, that's what being on this side is, that's what it all is, man. All of this is nothing, and it's a vexation daily, man. So that's why what we look forward to the kingdom of heaven, man. So whatever abundance or whatever things we might get on this side, whatever women we might get, whatever type of jobs or calls we might have, man, none of that matters to us, man. All of that is vanity. All that is vanity, and that's the kingly mindset, because all that matters is the uh, the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. This is the true riches. Mm -hmm. This is what matters. And when your focus and your, your, your what it says, uh, store up your treasures in, in heaven, mm -hmm. it says because of where, you, where your treasure is, your heart would be also, man. So if this 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 is the true treasure. So so if the Lord give us uh, anything else outside of this word, man, hey, none of that matters, man. None of that matters. You know, but it says, yea, I hated all my labor, which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto the man that shall be after me. But on this part, man, you know, because King Solomon was speaking as a man, like, look, I got all this wisdom and I got this fool, but none of us will be remembered. Right. He was speaking as a, a, a as a man through his through his research, because there were plenty wise men who were wise and we don't know. Them. There were plenty wise men, you know. But um, you you get that out. It's wisdom Solomon chapter seven and verse seven. The key thing with this work and, and, and what we doing, man, our names gonna be written in heaven, man. You know, you got uh, 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 guys that's uh, smart, smart worldly, with worldly knowledge. These cats gonna die not be, not being remembered. You know how many Jake's been smart as hell. You know, uh, uh, the graduated Harvard and fucking excelled in Esau bullshit, man. But shit, he ain't remembered just like Pookie on the block who fucking dropped out of high school, man. But through this wisdom, this is what matters, man. This is how we how we will be remembered. It speaks about a, 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 a good ointment. You know, a, 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 a name is better than a, a good ointment. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, you know, but you got that out. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 7. It says, where, wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon Yahweh Basham Yahushai, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Now we can read that, man. You know, how uh, King Solomon laid down and he, in a dream, he asked for the wisdom, and the Lord gave him all that, man. Right? Go ahead. I preferred her before scepters and thrones. So he preferred wisdom before the throne, man. Well, that goes back into uh, uh, the mindset we have now. Whatever we might have carnally, man, hey, this wisdom comes first and foremost, because that's how we're able to uh, 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 manage those carnal things we might have, man. All right. Go ahead. I prefer her before scepters and thrones and esteemed riches, nothing in comparison of her. Mm -hmm. Neither compared I unto her any precious stone, because all gold in respect of her is as little sand and silver shall be counted as clay before her. So if this is our mindset, man. Whatever uh, uh, women you might have, man, whatever a uh, 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 good ass job, paying job you mm. might have, whatever type of car you might have, whatever, whatever uh, uh, a status you might have in this world, man. This wisdom is what matters above all that. And if, and if that's your mindset, well, then when you when you have abundance or when you be abased, it all it all it all one and the same. Why? Because you have the, the, the wisdom. Or the contentment of Yahweh Basham Yahweh within your spirit, you know? But you got it. It says, I loved her, verse 10. I loved her above health and beauty and chose to have her instead of light. For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. All good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hands. And I rejoiced in them all because wisdom goeth before them. Mm -hmm. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. That's it, man. You know? So what we learning now, man, uh, the discipline and how to balance ourselves, man, hey, it's what we, what's going to be implemented in the kingdom of heaven. 
You know, but it's going to be to the point where we don't even have to try. The law is going to be written in us, man. So it's going to come first nature, you know. But on this side right now, we have to fight. We have to do these things. We have to make sure that, that that's our mentality continually in whatever state we might find ourselves in. You know, go ahead, bro. It says, uh, verse, uh, wisdom of Solomon 7 and 13. I learned diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches. And he didn't, man. We read in Ecclesiastes. You, uh, we read in Proverbs. It says what? That the throne is established through righteousness, man. Because this is what matters. Go ahead up. For she is a treasure unto men that never faileth. That never faileth, man. See, carnal riches is going to fail. Your car going to break down. Your, 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 your woman will leave you. What happened with Job? Thief come in still. Yeah, a thief would come in and, and, and rob you. You can get fired from your job. But this this will never fail. So that's, that's why this is, is the kingly mindset, man. Why? Because wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. This, this, this is true royalty, man. Uncorrupt and, and, and is incorruptible, man. Whew. Go ahead, bro. So for she is a treasure unto men that never fail it, which they that use become the friends of the most high, being commended for the gifts that come from learning. Being commended with the gifts that come from learning, right? So since we're talking about King Solomon, right? The wisest, richest man that, that, that walked this earth. Um where is that at? Where is that at? Yep, this is Proverbs 4 and 1, right? It says, hear ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. So look, yeah, 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 uh, put yourself in that lifetime, right? King Solomon is writing all these things down, right? But his children, right? We're his, we're his children. So say these things are, uh, this is our father leaving us a letter and telling us how to conduct ourselves, how to move, and how to think, right? Verse 3, for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. So this is King Solomon the rightness. Mind you, once again, put yourself in his mindset. Picture that, man. Picture King Solomon sitting sitting uh, in his royalty, man, right? At his study, writing this letter, man. Picture him doing that, right? It says, for I was my father's son. Who was King David's father? King David, the same man that told us, he that ruleth over men must be just. Ruling in the fear of the Lord. Now, you think he didn't teach King Solomon that? But let's keep reading. It says, for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not and she shall preserve thee. Love her and she shall keep thee. Now, pitch, pitch, picture King Solomon is telling us what King David was telling him, man, right? Verse 7 Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace, and a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life, man. And that's the key thing, man, because this 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 wisdom is what is what uh, 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 what's the word quickened us, made us alive. So this is our life. That's why it says wisdom shall meet us in every thought. In Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, it speaks about how this word shall be as frontlets between our eyes. man. And it all goes back to what? How we conduct and move in this present evil world when we have abundance or when we uh, 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 have a little man. So I'm going to jump over to Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, and I'm going to start at the 17th verse. It says, bow down thy ear and hear the words of the wise and apply, right? The word apply means use, right? Apply thy heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee. They shall withal be fitted in thy lips, meaning they are always going to be what? In our mouth, man. 
And what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, through the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So if our heart is is, 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 is speaking and, and, and meditating on the Lord and his words continually, well, that's, that's what we're going to speak. Therefore, that's the actions we're going to bring forth, right? It says, verse 19, that, that thy trust may be in the Lord, I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things and counsels and knowledge? So this is King Solomon. King Solomon, by the way, is our Lord Yahweh Shai. So he's writing and telling us what? That he have written unto us excellent things and counsels and knowledge, right? That I might, this verse 21, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee. So not only uh, is this wisdom guiding and leading us, man, but we can properly guide and lead our brothers, right? We can properly guide and lead our lead our nation because that's what the laws hang on. It says, love Yahweh, why Yahweh shall with all thy mind, body, and soul, and what? And love thy neighbor as thyself. That's the true, that's the true thing right there. In 1 John, it says, how can you love the most high if you hate your brother that you see every day? So it all starts with what? With our nation, man, with the brotherhood. Right now, it's the elect. That's they, they, all Israel is not of Israel. So when I speak about our nation, I'm talking about uh, us that's within the belief, man. The true belief, the true gospel, right? It says they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. This is the true wis wisdom from heaven, man. This is the manna that came from heaven that Yahweh Shah spoke of, right? So this manna, this knowledge is what's going to uh, 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 keep us content through regardless of what we have, you know? Can I add to you? Of course, brother. Because the scripture says, honor that uh that mother and that father and that and that days will be long, man. All right. But the scripture says I shall call uh wisdom my king's my king's woman, man. Right. So hey man, we have to uh oh it says we read it earlier if you had that light the light being thrones, honor wisdom, man, that she may reign forever, man. So that's just like uh honoring your mother and your father. That means you're gonna have long uh longevity of life. Matter of fact, eternal life, okay. Proverbs three and thirteen. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. And the man that uh, get it understand, I don't know if we read this already. We do. Okay. This is uh, happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that goeth under uh, that get it understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all that all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Exactly, and that's why it goes back to that older brother's lesson, man. Put the truth first, meaning this word, this wisdom, because if your mind is set and applied on this knowledge, then whether you have abundance, right, uh, a, a beautiful woman, three beautiful women, right, whether you have a, a, a great, a so-called great job here in a, a, a Babylon, you know, whether you have a, a so-called nice car, right, those things don't matter. Why? Because you know how to maneuver with the wisdom, with the fear of the Lord that was given us, man, you know. Length of days is in her right hand, and 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 in her left hand riches and honor. So, hey man, the uh, length of days is is with wisdom, and those that that have this wisdom, man, this it leads it like like we read earlier, uh, uh, it leads to a kingdom, man. It leads to everlasting life, man. Her ways are lucky. Her ways are are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. Okay. Hey, uh, uh, peace comes with that comfort, you know. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. So this is actually that tree of life, man. You know, that's going to lead you to immortality, man. You know, mm. uh, Yahweh by wisdom hath founded the earth; by understanding have he established the heavens. Okay, yeah. and how is and how is the heavens going to be established? Because the heavens, that's rulership, man. Okay, so this rulership is going to be established by wisdom, man. Okay, any kingdom, why did any kingdom fall? Because it wasn't established by this wisdom. It wasn't established uh, by, by this knowledge, man. Well, that's what we read. Yeah, It says the throne is established yeah. through righteousness, man. What's righteousness? You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's through this word. This word is the righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. Going back to Proverbs 8, it says, by me kings rule. And princes decree justice. Who is me? It's the wisdom that was speaking. You know? 
the uh Yahweh by wisdom have founded the earth, by understanding have he established the heavens, by his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew, right? Which is you know, this knowledge. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes, keep sound wisdom and discretion, so that uh, so shall so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then thou shalt walk in the ways in, in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Okay, so hey, life to your soul, man. The everlasting life, man. And that's what this wisdom uh leads to. This is what brings us to a kingdom. This is what establishes the kingdom. This is what's gonna establish the heavens. Okay, all right. Because it hey, like we said, any kingdom that's not established by this, it, it has an expiration date. But the one that uh to come. You know what I'm saying? You know that's what that's what uh King Solomon was was um was was um uh, mourning about. You know what I'm saying? You know my son, I have a son, and he'll be a fool, and he gonna pretty much mess up everything that I showed myself to be wise, wise and built. But in the hey, but in the, the kingdom to come, we never gonna pass down them crowns and them thrones. You know, you we gonna sit on and go with them be that number. We are gonna sit on them thrones for eternity, man. Right, and, and we have to don't have to worry about yep. your, your child if he gonna be a fool or not. Yeah, because that's what he said. He said, yep. who, who who know if, if uh, he gonna be a fool or a wise man? Yep. He turned out to be a fool, yep. but you know what I'm saying. But we ain't gotta worry about that in the yep. kingdom. This this that, that's why this is gonna lead us to that, man. Yep. So that's why nothing here on this side matters, and that's why the brother did uh, the lesson. What? Put the truth first, meaning this this word, this wisdom has has to be the priority, man. This truth has to be the priority, because if it is, man, it teaches you that that none of this shit is worth. Hey, is it, it says what? Uh, we look not at the things which are, uh, which are seen, but the things which are not seen, because the things that are seen are temporal, man. See, all this is temporal. So when you understand that, what through this word, well then. <laughs> Everything, it, it is what it is, man. Job had that mindset, man. Look, hey, 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 you know, whether the Lord give us abundance or he take it away. You know, he kept his integrity and didn't curse the most high. It was the same thing. You know, but um, we could jump back to Proverbs 8. Can a brother jump back to Proverbs 8 and uh, read verse 15 again? It's Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 15. It says, by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Mm -hmm. I know the true judges of the earth is mm -hmm. us, man. Mm -hmm. That's why going back to that wisdom of Solomon in the sixth chapter, starting at the top, the Lord uh, was he had a problem or he was uh, uh, cussing out the, uh, the, the the wicked rulers of us, man. Mm -hmm. Then he further went down and explained like what uh, through wisdom, you know, is, is the uh, brings the kingdom. You know, roughly paraphrasing, you know. But go ahead, I. Uh, verse uh, 17, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. Mm -hmm. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, Ooh. and I will fill their treasures. That's it, man. And that's why Yahweh Shah, he, he pretty much re-echoed exactly what he's saying right here, man. In Matthew, the sixth chapter, he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. You know? So we, this is the focus. This is the focus. That's why Yahweh Shah uh, uh, spoke, spoke and said, Look, man, uh, he that uh, 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 forsaken uh, houses, he that forsaken jobs, right? Wives, children. children mother and father, brother, right? He said they shall get a hundredfold in this life and in the world to come, man. Because you just you just make hey, what, what Abraham did. The gesture in, in sacrificing Isaac, that was pretty much his everything right there. He put him on the altar. And it's the same thing with us. Everything is on the altar, man. Why? For you, how about Hashem Yahweh Paul said, I count all things done just for this knowledge, man. Meaning what? Meaning nothing, none, nothing matter but this word. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, because of the, the people in this world, man. Hey, uh, and I'm speaking, you know, the two thirds mainly. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, because there's a law that if you if you do gain a wife from your from your master, or you gain children from the, from your master, 
and uh, you want to depart from them, well, that's the master's property. You know what I'm saying? Right. And really, everything you get here, that shit belong to Esau. Your kids, all that, man. You are fucking still a slave, man. Okay, but hey, man, we 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 want to get it. We want to get uh, our, our, everything from our master, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, in his kingdom, when it, when it's time for him to rule, and then it, uh, uh, none of that can't be taken away. Okay, none of that can be taken away. Then, man, what scripture says, uh, then no man should be able to oppress him that have got the victory, man. Because mm -hmm. hey, man, like the brother was saying earlier, man, you get a car, you get a job, you get a woman. Esau, come take that shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures say, uh, 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 roughly paraphrasing, you know, basically when the Lord comes and says that, then then you shall you see me and no man shall take your joy, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, man, there, there ain't going to be no more sorrow, man. You know, all that's going to be done away with. Uh, I'm going to grab this real quick. This is Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 11. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yep. Looking for that word, that word conversation is conduct, man. How you conduct yourself, your way of life, and it all comes through the mind. So, hey, hey, if this, if this is if it, what, what it says in uh, Proverbs, I believe is the seventh chapter. Hey, if this is the apple of our eye, man, hey, hey it's, it's going to allow us to uh, govern through any and every situation, whatever a uh, 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 status, right? We find ourselves in, man. Hey, 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 hey. It's all nothing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> saw nothing. Why? Because this is this is what matters, man. You know, but you got it up. Got what I need. <laughs> it's, uh, Second Peter three and twelve. It says, "Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat." Yeah, that's the key thing, man. You know, I believe uh, uh, you probably could have read up, or I don't know if it's further down, but it says, uh, "According to His promise." We look for a new heaven and a new earth, man. You know, it's further down or is it up? It's the next verse. Okay. It says, uh, shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Right. So hey, look, we looking towards the promise, man. Whatever the Lord gives us on this side, man, hey, that, that, that's not the promise. The <laughs> promise is what? Uh, uh, our land back, man. You know, the promise is being delivered out of the hands of our enemies. It goes back to the promise of Abraham that I will give this land as far as your eye can see. What he said, he said, walk to and fro in it, man. All that thy feet toucheth, man, belong to you. I'm going to give it to you and your children. That's the promise we waiting for, man. That new heaven and new earth, man. Mean a new rulership. You understand? Where, 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 what? Where, where, how is shy? You know, where, well, yeah, how is ruling, man? Because he's sending his only begotten son to what? Subdue everything. Paul wrote about him saying, what? Once, once Yahweh Shah subdued everything under him, he's going to put himself under subjection of the Most High, man. Oh, but the Christian doctrine, they, they, they are one and the same. He's going to put himself under his under himself. No, man. So with the Most High laws in the world, man, hey, hey, that's what we're looking forward to, man. That's when we're going to have the abundance of things, man. And like, like the brother said, hey, 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 that's what the Most High is going to give us. It said it is the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. So we ain't got to worry about Esau giving us a goddamn thing, man. And it starts on this side. Isaiah the 10th chapter says, uh, he shall no longer stay upon him that smote him. We're not relying on this devil to give us anything, man. So anything that the Most High gives us on this side, man. Okay. Hey, go ahead. So uh, this is uh, Sirach 10 and 10. The physician cut us off a long disease, and he that is today a king tomorrow shall die. Okay? All right? So, hey, man, this foolish king, man, he's going to die, man. And all those that all, that, that that he's been he passing these, because, uh, because hey, as soon as Esau got into power, you can read that in uh, Maccabees, man. What do you say? They all put start putting crowns upon themselves. Hey, so all these little crowns that he's been giving all you people, man, Floyd Mayweather, Jay Z, these are all corruptible crowns. They're gonna perish with his kingdom, man. All right, but hey, man, those that are ruling, uh, with those that are being set up to rule with this wisdom, man, they're gonna live forever, man. So it says, uh, uh, they that have practiced abstinence shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, man. Okay, and that's wisdom to abstain from this world. 
Because it says the fashion of this world passeth away, man. So why would you hang on to uh to to a sinking ship when someone's trying to give you a life raft to a, a eternal island, man? Okay? You know? That's it. Yeah. So Lord willing, man, we pray and hope that's edifying. You know, hey, the water you how about you was shy for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. You know, just a, 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 a just an exhortation, man. You know, to whatever the most high gives us on this side, man, just know it's temporal, man. You know, so so we ought not to set our heart on it. That's what the, that's what that's what the, uh, it says. If riches increase, set not thy heart upon them, man. Our heart is set upon what the true riches, man, which is this word and how to conduct ourselves, because that's that's that that's going to bring the true abundance. You know, but Lord willing, we hope that was edifying once again. The water, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? We're gonna give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rachakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel of truth and sincerity always in charity. Hey, Shalom, Allah, Allah, Allah.